Hey YouTube, that Brady chick here. It's been a while, I know. Um, but tomorrow I do have a wedding to go to. I'm just like jumping right to it because I'm not trying to waste no time because I don't have much of it. You might have seen this style already, but I plan to do a waveformer set with a little twist. Um, so the little twist is that I want to blow dry my hair out first and then apply the waveformers. As you can see my hair is just twisted up. It's in its shrunken state. It is not blow dried yet. It was saturated in leave-in conditioner and heat protectant this morning, but as you can see, that all evaporated right off of my hair because it is so hot outside, but I'm not complaining. The heat pretty much caused it to, like all the product to evaporate out of my head top. It's pretty dry right now, so I am going to reapply my Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore JBCO Leave-In Conditioner. Yeah, pretty much my go-to leave-in conditioner, especially when I want to moisturize my hair. Not necessarily define it, because I don't find that it really defines it that well anymore, but um, it definitely does moisturize it. My heat protectant, which is, oh, this is running out too which is my Afoji Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer. Okay, so I'm gonna rev air my hair. This is Miss Rev herself. You might be wondering why there's red tape around her, but uh, mind your business. <laughs> I just didn't hook her properly to the rest of her system, so her little latch broke off and it definitely um, is a little bit sharp, so I had to kind of tape that over just so I don't hurt my hand while I'm using it. So because you guys have already seen my blowout video, and if you haven't, check it out in the cards above. Mm. Because you've already seen that, probably, I'm just going to completely skip over that process and I'll just come back when all of my hair is blow dried. So stay tuned. All right, so I think it would be more efficient if I were to just rev air my hair, which I just did clearly, um, and then go in straight with the waveformer. So this part is rev aired. I was gonna do a little trim too. I'm just gonna trim off a little bit off the bottom. Just a little bit. Now the ends look more blunt, which is good. You saw it here first. I did trim. I did. So now we can go in with our waveformer, which I just attached. And I think I might just split this into two instead of one, because I don't want it to be so thick. All right, so I'm going to apply a little bit of mousse to this little section here. Please don't revert. Not now, not yet. Twist the top part just a little bit. Hook it to here. Okay, all right, that went through. By the faith of God, it did. Okay, let's just see how the next one turns out because that one reverted a little bit and I'm not too happy with it. So let's see. I'm gonna try to just put it through without even putting on the foam. I don't know if that's risky or not, but let's see. I'm putting it through the more narrow part. And I'll put the hook's mouth towards me. And then I'll pull it through. Okay, with this one, I might just put the mousse on it. I mean, it has to, to mold, right? Don't revert, please. Okay, nice. Great, so I got three in that little section. Well, I'll just speed it up. I'll speed up the rubbing part. That's what I'll do. I wish I could speed it up in real life, but can't. a whole party right now just so I can get this hairstyle done.
So I just finished sitting under the dryer for 25 minutes. I'm tired and I gotta go to sleep. This is pretty much how I'm pinning up my hair for tonight. Not the best, but at least it's out of my face. Wish me luck that I can sleep tonight. Anyway, see you in the morning. Ooh. Okay, let's chill out for a second. Hello, YouTube. I am back. It is the next day. It is the day of the wedding. Um, I look a little crazy right now, but that's because none of my waveformers are out. Clearly, it's... The oh, gosh. So, we're just going to have to be patient. So I tried my best, I really did, and all I can do is hope for the best at this point because I don't know how it's going to turn out, okay? So just bear with me. So I just did my edges this morning too, Ooh, quite a few hours ago. Ah, I'm getting nervous! Oh my gosh. Like why can't I just be guaranteed good results? Is that too much to ask? I need to know. Sorry, I'm kind of just... And sometimes I forget the camera's on, to be honest, and I just act a little wild. Doesn't this kind of feel like deja vu, in a sense? Doesn't it? Let me show you why. Very top of the waveformer as I push my hair through. So that also helps, I hope. But um, honestly, the results will tell all, right? The results will tell all. Ah, I just hope it works out this time. I had to sleep in it again and it wasn't comfortable <gasps> with my 2019 video. <laughs> this is only half the battle. Why am I stressing right now? Are you ready? Because I don't think I am. Alright, so remember to squeeze the top carefully as you take it out. Okay. Not a bad start. I don't know if I should do this now or wait. Oh, I already took it out though. Okay, now I kind of regret my decision. <laughs> See, my thing is, I don't like to be late for important things like this. Like, I woke up at 8 a.m. this morning to make sure I could get ready for this. For a 2.30 p.m. wedding, by the way. It is right now only 12.30, and the wedding is in two hours. Should I be doing this now? Because it does have the potential to frizz up, and that's just not okay with me. Damage is already done with this one. I'm just going to leave it out because I can't re re-wave it right so i'm just gonna leave that where it is but for the rest of it i'm thinking should i just chill out for like half an hour and come back to it like that's really what i'm thinking right now and yes i know my accent came out but it comes out whenever i'm trying to uh think things through and uh they're not really logic i just need a sheet a sheet a seat in the shade because this person decided to have their wedding outside. Congratulations, guys, just in case you're watching this video. Congratulations, you too. <laughs> but why? Why a wedding outside? When people get their hair done and their makeup done and they don't want to sweat it all off? <sighs> it's a cute idea. A great idea, even. But come on. Come on. Please, just give us some AC. That's all we're asking for. Again, I forgot the camera was recording. Um, this is literally how I am when I'm by myself. But anyways, um, catch you guys in half an hour. I'm just going to return at 1 o'clock. So, okay, we're doing this again. Come on. All right, guys. It has been roughly half an hour. It is now 12.53. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take the rest out. All right. So, we took out this one roughly half an hour ago. And it's still holding up pretty nice. So, let's see how the rest turn out. Not bad, not bad. Ready? Okay. Not bad though, not bad. Ooh, that one's pretty elongated. So remember guys, I did blow dry my hair prior to doing this. That's kind of what I was going for in terms of the elongated look. Funny enough, I didn't even use all the waveformers I had, but this is still quite a bit, you know? Like, but I still had quite a few left over that I could have used, but I was too tired. I 
quite ooh no that's really cool what i don't know if i'm gonna separate it because this kind of is giving masterpiece wow no like that's whoa i've never gotten a set like this before wow i don't know if my hair grew or if it's just the the fact that I blow dried it prior to, but damn girl, this don't look half bad. Wow, definitely got to do this for my birthday. What, Jay? Girl, no, this looks <gasps> amazing. No, this looks so good. <gasps> oh my god, <gasps> I've literally never looked like this before. Ow. This is quite impressive. <gasps> Guys, I don't think you understand. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is 2020. Sorry, 2022. Sorry, I was stuck in the past for a second. This is 2022. Look at this compared to 2019. Like, whoa. It's, uh, no, I'm thoroughly imp- Oh my gosh. Like, I don't even want to manipulate it. I don't want to pick it out or... I could pick it out, though. But damn. No, this looks so good. I gotta do this next time for my birthday. Holy! Pretty much what I did was I followed the... Well, I kind of... I, okay, I learned from my mistakes in my 2019 video. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but I did put, like, a list of what I did right in order to correct my error. And in order to do this style, I pretty much did what I wrote in that list, if that makes sense. But yeah, pretty much what I did was I washed my hair the day before, not the same day, because I was just like, you know what, I don't have time. So I washed it the day before, and then I blow dried it the next day, which was yesterday. Prior to blow drying it, as, as we know, I did have my Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner in with some heat protectant, right, this one the afro -G heat protectant and after that i did apply my cream of nature argan oil mousse to not all of the sections but some of the sections especially the sections in the front which are like a lot more defined than the back ones i find but honestly it still looks good still looks good not complaining but anyways i applied my mousse and then i twisted like one and a half to two times around at the root and i applied my waveformer and i Pulled it through that was all next time i think i'm gonna use like all my waveformers because girl this volume is loud it's loud i'm thoroughly impressed i've never looked like this before i don't think you guys realize ignore my mess but like i've whoa i've never whoa whoa I gotta give myself some props because, girl, you came home at 8 p.m. yesterday. You finished at 12.37 a.m. You sat under- oh yeah, that's one thing I also forgot to tell you guys. I sat under the hooded dryer on high heat for only 30 minutes to achieve this. And I went to bed, of course, so it air-dried and it's hood air-dried too. Nah. <laughs> nah. N nah. <laughs> I Whoa, I have to take some pictures. Wow, hold on. Sorry guys, I had to come back. I just want to show you the back. Wow, guys, sorry, ignore the dirty mirror, but wow. Wow, the length is just lengthening right now. I zoom into that. Sometimes I forget about this washing lighting. All right guys, I am running late right now, so um, I will insert some pictures and some videos just so you guys can see more of it, but I'm really satisfied with the results, okay? It's safe to say I'm very satisfied with the results. Like, oh my gosh, the bottom did get a little frizzy, but honestly, at this point, who cares? Uh, but anyways, thanks again, guys, for watching. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and always remember, natural hair grows. Don't you forget it. Bye.